Well, hello, my friend. Welcome to Vermintide Customer Support Service. Today, I shall be teaching you how to use all of the new weapons. Subscribe to Party Knife and I'll cut your nuts off. So, uh, let's stop fucking around and get right to it. Now, so obviously, we have a total of six new weapons. First, we got the Skull Splitter Hammer. Then, we got the Paired Skull Splitters. Then, we got the Skull Splitter and Shield. Then we have the Flail and Shield. Then we got the Holy Great Hammer. And lastly, we have the Skull Splitter and Blessed Toe. Now, essentially here, what we have is three completely new weapons and three reskins that look a lot cooler, granted, but nonetheless are identical in both attack patterns and, and damage numbers to three of Bardian's weapons. So the first thing we have is the Skull Splitter Hammer. Now, the Skull Splitter Hammer is essentially equivalent to Bardin's one-handed hammer, right? So as you can see here, it has the exact same attack combos, and so it functions in exactly the same way. So essentially what you want to do versus Trash Man is you've got two combos. You can do push block attack, light, light, push block attack, light, light. Also, let's just turn the UI back on. Uh, push block attack, light, light. Or you can just go light, light, cancel, light, light, cancel. Those are your two primary options here. Then versus armored, you have a couple of options. You can either just chain together heavy attacks, right? But you can also do heavy, heavy, light, light. Heavy, heavy, light, light. Heavy, heavy, light, light. Beep, beep. Heavy attack, heavy attack, light, light. Heavy attack, heavy attack, light, light. Those are your primary combos for the Skull Splitter Hammer. But let's be real. No one's really going to use this weapon because why would you possibly want to use a single hammer? when you have the way more amazing Skull Splitter Hammers. Now, despite this being a reskin in principle, I still think this is one of my favorite weapons, because you can also use them on the Sullet. And dual wheel hammers are just, they're just insane in general. And these just look way better. Like, <laughs> these are some dope ass hammers. Now, using them is really not that complicated. First, you have the light attack combo, which is essentially just spam, spam, spam. Pretty straightforward, nothing too complicated here. Then you have the heavy combo, which starts with an overhead. Oh, wait. Overhead, then it goes from the left, and then it goes from the right. Now, versus trash, most of the time, you're going to be using light attacks as such. Now, you can, into the light attack combo chain, depending on where you are in the combo, you can chain these together. Right. So if you go the first light attack, then it goes heavy, then it goes heavy, then you can go back to light. Um, like such, right? So you can actually do that by doing sort of one light attack and then a double heavy attack. That's one other combo you can go for. If you want to only chain sort of the cleaving uh, versions of the heavy attacks. And versus heavy, you have two options. Of course, you've got just heavy cancel, heavy cancel, heavy cancel, heavy cancel. Then you have the poke attack, which is like a push block attack into a light attack. Push block, light, push block, light, push block, light which is actually a really, really strong attack, make no mistake. Now, you can also use heavy 2 and 3 versus uh, armored enemies. It's not that they don't deal any damage. It's just it's slightly more effective to sort of take out elite enemies, armored elite enemies specifically, by doing these, uh, this double overhead attack. And then, again, push block attack light, push block attack light. And you guys can see here in the armory, uh, if we take a look at the, uh, the dual hammers, it's essentially this light attack. And this light attack is not actually part of the light attack uh, combo. So if you're just spam clicking uh, left click, then you're only ever gonna be using these three attacks. So this light attack four is only available, so to speak, by doing the push block attack into a light attack. You can see that there's no, uh, there's no attack if I just light attack here that deals any armor damage, you see? I'm just spam, cl spam clicking left here. It's only the critical hits that are going through. Um, so you never actually get to this attack here by just doing light attacks. Moving on, then we got the hammer, uh, skull splitter and shield. Sorry, skull splitter and shield. Now for the skull splitter and shield, again, this is another reskin version of uh, Bardin's hammer and shield here. So as you can see here, you have three light attacks, the third of which is sort of the most interesting one. And you can combo to this attack again by doing a push block attack. And then you got his heavy attack, the first of which actually does armor damage um, and has the tank property on it. So essentially you have a couple of different combos you can go for here. Versus hordes, you can of course go light attack combo, 
and just keep going that attack combo, essentially. Um, that is one option. So your second option is to start out with the light attack combo. And then you can go heavy, light, light. Heavy, light, light. Heavy, light, light. Heavy, light, light. As such. Now, make sure you don't get confused here. Because actually when it says here that this is heavy attack 1, this is really heavy attack 2. And this is really heavy attack 1. This being the shield bash, which of course has infinite cleave. So that's always good to have as well. Uh, just to be aware of. Now versus armored minions. And also really versus things like maulers and such. It can be really good to do this. Push block attack, light attack. Push block attack, light attack. Push block attack, light attack. And this gives you this overhead push block attack. Into the most effective uh, attack from the light attack chain. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to say about this weapon. Then we get to the flail and shield. Now the flail and shield is a really interesting weapon. Okay, Don't underestimate the flail and shield. This is the first of the weapons that's not particularly a reskin. Now we can't take a look at these because that will crash the game. But what we can do is take a look at the flail. okay? Because the attacks in terms of the actual damage numbers seem to be identical. Of course the attack chain is going to be very very different. But essentially you have the overhead attacks and you have the side sweeps. In the light attack combo you also have a shield bash. And it works in sort of a slightly unique way. Now the interesting bit is that whereas the normal flail would start out with a side sweep, a side sweep, then an overhead, then an overhead. And then it would repeat this combo, right? If I just kept light spamming. That is not how the flail and shield works. And make no mistake, this weapon is absolutely insane, okay? As I will show you guys, you can control and literally an army of shielded storm vermins with this weapon. And, and it takes very little effort and okay? very little effort. But let's just start out by talking about the different attack combos that you have available and sort of what the weapon does, right? So if I just left click, I will start an overhead, overhead, shield bash, side sweep, side sweep. But then if I keep attacking, see, now I'm only doing side sweeps and shield bashes, okay? So no overhead attacks. So essentially versus, uh, versus hordes and such, you have two options. First option is to get to this combo. Now the fastest way to get to this combo is by doing as such, okay? Now that is a push block attack into a light attack chain, okay? That way you don't have to do the first two overheads. So essentially versus hordes, you're gonna start out push block attack, light, 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 and then you just spam light attacks because if you stop spamming light attacks at any point, then you're gonna start back out with the overhead attacks, okay? Then your second option is of course the heavy attack chain. Now the heavy attacks, on this weapon are insane. It's not that they damage wise uh, do anything more than the regular flail, but it seems on this guy in particular, they're broken for a certain reason. First of all, if you notice, we're blocking whilst we're charging our flail attack. That in of itself is, is pretty insane on a flail weapon. I feel like this mechanic is actually way better for this weapon than it is for something like the Bretonian sword, okay? This is way better than the Bretonian sword in my opinion. Now, you can control 10 shielded storm rims on Cataclysm and it's not hard. You, you may not believe me, but I'll show you guys in a bit, okay? So versus armored elites, again, you have two options. Your DPS combo is gonna be to light, light, cancel, light, light. That's sort of the, okay, I have to kill this one storm vermin right here, right now. Or you're fighting a chaos warrior, a single one, right? And you just want it to die. So that's why you're gonna go for these overhead attacks as much as possible. And you simply light attack, light attack, cancel, light attack, light attack, cancel, light attack, light attack. Then you can throw in a shield bash there if you need to, right? So if you're ever sort of in trouble and there's a few more than you expected, they're about to punch you, poof, you just go in for a shield bash, then you cancel again, and then you go back to your overhead attack combo. But the heavy attacks, right, are just so good. Now here it doesn't look like much, okay? Here it doesn't look like much, but this is not an accurate representation, okay? Let me show you guys. Let me just start off here by turning it into Cataclysm, right? So now we have a Cataclysm lobby slash in damage. So I can die now, okay? I can, I can take damage. This is equivalent to just playing on uh, Cataclysm difficulty. So let's just fly over here real quick and let me spawn a bunch of storm remnants, okay? I'll show you guys what happens. This is a lot of storm remnants, and they're all shielded, okay?
Look, so whenever I fail, right, I'm blocking. And so whenever I don't control myself properly as I should, right, I'm blocking. <laughs> on the dummies there but like you can literally bully a com oh, once you actually get them close together you can just bully them it punches through the shields it doesn't care about the shields at all whatsoever like i literally had a game where i had a storm room patrol and i was just bullying them into a corner like watch this i know there's a little bit of a setup right so obviously oversimplified but look you can just bully them like you don't you don't have to care look at this look at this what is this like and whenever one of them actually gets a punch through i'm blocking so it doesn't matter <laughs> like the heavy attack combos of this weapon are absolutely insane okay i'm telling you they're insane don't sleep on them they're so good okay this is a really really strong weapon make no mistake uh, let's see where's some chaos warriors here obviously that's a bit harder right because you can't bully them in the same way still a strong attack you can see it can actually stagger them um, but obviously versus something like chaos warriors you'd want to have a bit more of these light attacks in because that's really where your dps would come from cancel here oops cancel Light, light, cancel. Light, light, cancel. Gotta watch out for those coming from the back there. Now, obviously, it's gonna be a lot harder to deal with multiple Chaos Warriors, but it always is, right? Like, we, almost regardless of the weapon. Dealing with a large amount of Chaos Warriors is never gonna be sort of a walk in the park uh, in the same sense. But you can see it's not, you know, it's not that hard. It's not like, it doesn't require any like godlike combos or skills in, in any capacity. And again, the fact that you're just blocking whilst you're charging your heavy attacks just gives another dimension to this weapon, in my opinion. So make no mistake, this is a really good weapon, okay? A really good weapon and definitely one of the interesting ones. Now, let's move on to the next weapon, which is going to be the Holy Great Hammer. Now the Holy Great Hammer, okay? This this might be the single strongest weapon that that in the game right now, possibly. Okay, I don't I don't want to. You guys know me. I don't want to oversell it. Um, I don't want to claim that that is actually the case necessarily. But this is a sick freaking weapon. This is nothing like a normal Great Hammer. This one is so much better than the normal Great Hammer, in my opinion. Especially because you can use it on the salad. Okay, this. I, I think this might be the new salad meta. Like, this weapon is sick. And it's also hilarious at the same time, which is a glorious combination. Takes a little bit getting used to. Um, of course, first we got its light attack chain, so I'm just going to show you guys. Okay, if I just light attack, it does like such. Okay, so an overhead, then sort of a, a down to up swing, and then a side sweep, right? And then the heavy attacks go like this, sort of a double side sweep, and then an overhead. And then we have the push block attack. Doosh. <laughs> Which is also a weapon special. Like, I can just spam weapon special. Look, <laughs> that's fucking amazing. And it actually has sick stacker. Okay, this punch actually has really good stacker values. Really good stacker values. So don't sleep on that either. Okay, don't sleep on that either. But let's talk about what you do versus... Um, uh, versus trash like versus hordes now this is not where it's at its strongest but if you're fighting hordes or mixed pools of enemies right so we have storm vermins we have maulers we have a horde going then you're always going to be going for the heavy heavy light okay you can also you can do there's a different variation of this combo where you go heavy heavy push uh special heavy heavy weapon special heavy heavy weapon special but you can also just go for heavy heavy light heavy heavy light heavy heavy light right and i i can't explain how sick this combo is why is it sick because it's kind of like with the flail this weapon okay every single attack except the push block attack and the first light attack can hit multiple armored enemies it has that property you see so even light attack two here, poof, and light attack three, poof. 
Okay, so light attack one, two, three. Okay, so, and the same with the heavy attack. Look, heavy, heavy. All of them hitting multiple armored enemies, okay? So what you're gonna do versus, uh, let's say you have a single target. Let's say you're fighting a Chaos Warrior, right? So versus a Chaos Warrior, what you're gonna do is you're gonna do light, light, heavy. Light, light, heavy. Light, light, heavy, okay? So, whoops, light, light, heavy. Light, light, heavy. Okay? So that's what you do versus single target armored enemies. But if you're fighting like we were before, sort of multiple elites, possibly also trash minions at the same time. Let's see how what we got. Storm Vermin's here. I'm just gonna ult just in case. Boom. You see the stacker? And because of the extra stacker power this guy has, still gotta be a little bit careful. Boom. Okay, this is a sick weapon. Not to mention the fact, hold on a second, let's just get some healing here. Now, check out this weapon special. <laughs> Why are you bullying me? <laughs> like, it, it's actually hilarious. Even Chaos Warriors, okay? I believe even Chaos Warriors from time to time can get staggered by this, okay? Not in the middle of an attack combo. I believe I did start. Oh, you did not. Maybe not. Maybe I remember wrong. Okay, I think I remembered wrong. But again, I also don't have opportunists and such on him. But but most. Oh, there we go. There we go. Right? So you can actually even a chaos warrior can from time to time get stacked by uh, staggered by that attack, and most enemies such as berserkers or monks, uh, or or raiders. Let's take a raider here for example. Right. Uh, again, heavy attacks is too much for it to stagger. It's not a guaranteed stagger like with the bill hook. Right? But I can still look. I can still like, why are you bullying me? Why are you bullying me? <laughs> love it. I love it. It's it's so much fucking fun. Uh, it's probably one of the most fun weapons in my opinion. Now I do think it's, in a sense, it's better suited for the seller in that he has more attack speed, but he doesn't have this stagger thing, right? And the stagger effects of these heavy attack combos are just a lifesaver, okay? It's a lifesaver. Whenever you're fighting again, whenever you're surrounded, you have to go for that combo right there. Um, so make no mistake, this is a really, really strong weapon. And then, lastly, of course, we have uh, the Skull Splitter and Tome. Now, this is an interesting weapon that's going to require me super quickly uh, to go in here and change one of my key bindings just so I can show you guys properly because I slightly awkwardly have my weapon special set to uh, the... A mouse wheel down and unfortunately that doesn't really work with one thing that you can do with this weapon it's not really that that important but if i were to hold down my weapon special that charges up the attack so essentially let's just talk about the combos first actually that's a good good place to start so the light attack combo looks as such okay now these are essentially just hammer overhead attacks that have very little cleave uh, it's not really representative on a dummy so these overhead attacks are, I believe, equivalent to uh, a crowbill attack, for example, or an axe. Sort of, it has very little cleave uh, for a hammer, and so it's just a double, a double overhead attack that uh, has armor damage, right? Deals good armor damage, but has very, very little cleave. Okay, and cleave is where this weapon struggles the most. In a sense, we'll get to that. Then we have the heavy attack combo. Now, of course, if I were just heavy attack, it looks as such, okay? It has first like a, a stab with a hammer and then an overhead with a hammer. And these are the uncharged versions of the heavy attack combo. And then, of course, we have the charged up version, which I'm sure you guys have seen by now, right? So you have the tome here. Now, the tome attacks, when charged up, are sort of imbued with holy smite, right? So as soon as the tome is all the way up, poof, you get these charged up heavy attacks. Now, these are really, really interesting for a couple of reasons. First of all, we have the movement of this attack here, which allows you to increase your movement speed quite a decent amount. And it's important to note that you can actually charge up your attacks, cancel it, 
and then it's saved, right? Then it's actually sort of the, the smite thing is actually saved for your next charged heavy attack. And you can also do that again by using the weapon special as such, and it just charges up and then it's ready to go, right? So you can, in between combat, you can always start out by uh, going um, and fucking shit up. Now, these two attacks are interesting, right? First, we got the, the, the stab attack here. Now, the stab attack is not amazing for actual combat. Now, it's not that it's a bad attack. It can be fairly awkward to hit with sometimes, it feels. Like, sometimes when you have an enemy, I feel like I do like that, and then it doesn't always hit, right? But when it does hit, it has decent stacker, as you guys can see here. Um, but it's not that high of a damage attack. It's not something that you're going to kill a lot of stuff with. It is more for positioning, hitting a timing, getting into combat, right? So it's for entering and exiting combat. That's sort of what you're going to use it for. Then we have the second attack. Now, this attack is where it's really at, okay? Now, allow me to show you guys something. Let's just go to the creature spawner and turn off the AI. This attack is sort of like a shield bash in a sense. Or maybe actually a better comparison would be it's like the first heavy attack of the flaming sword in a sense. It has infinite cleave. Okay, infinite cleave. Actually, even a better, actually, sorry, even a better uh, correlation. This is a better version of the first attack in the flaming flail. Okay, in the Flaming Flails Heavy Attack combo. Now, in the Flaming Flails Heavy Attack combo, the first attack, something I've talked a lot about, it has an explosion effect. And that explosion effect has infinite cleave and extreme stagger. Okay, now this attack is just like that, except better. Okay, except better. Like the explosion is larger. When you do this into, into a Storm Vermin Patrol, it explode explodes. Like, it's like they get scattered. Um, from the from a single punch. But let me just show you guys here um, the infinite cleave and also what you want to do in combat. Essentially, the combo you're going to go for when you're trying to deal damage, right? You go light, heavy, light, heavy, light, heavy. And the interesting thing here is, and the mistake I think some people make, is that you don't actually have to charge it up every time. What you can do is you can sort of like sometimes it's it's good to do like this, right? Where it's like, okay, you let it charge up all the way, but you don't always have the time and space to do so. So what you can do is you can actually sort of charge it up halfway, right? In between each attack, and then you can complete the combo, right? So that every second attack is gonna be a fully charged attack. So you try to get as much charge up as you sort of have room to do, and then you get in with those uh, with those explosion attacks. But again, the explosion attacks don't have the the property hit multiple armored enemies which is why on a dummy it doesn't actually give the explosion effect so it looks very underwhelming on a dummy but if i were to go over here right like it literally hits all of them okay look at that just destroyed and we still have the kata thing running just for context um so let, let's try to turn it on again and spawn a bunch of storm remnants and let's spawn shielded storm remnants because it also doesn't care about shields, right? As if it wasn't insane enough. Okay, that was a little bit of a fog up, I'll admit. Did you see that? You see that? That's an actual staggering explosion effect. Now, you gotta watch out for those pushes. Those pushes can really fuck you up when you're trying to initiate with the attack. But once you get cut, look at that. Boof. I... That's insane. I, I know I fucked it up a little bit in the beginning. I'm a little bit rusty, okay? Don't hate me. Um, but there's no doubt that this is absolutely insane, okay? Once you get sort of a hang of the combo. But you've got to make sure that attack hits. Otherwise, it, it is undoubtedly a risky weapon. Now, I would say, if not for the fact that this was a double melee wielding uh, class, then this weapon might not be the best. Because, again, where this weapon struggles is versus hordes and such. Now, versus hordes, you don't have that many options. But you do have a push block attack, okay? That is your only side sweeping attack with this weapon. And so. It's super important that you pair this weapon up with something that can deal with hordes, whether it's the flail and shield, whether it's the, the 
dual wielding skull splitters, whether it's the holy great hammer, all of them are viable options for comp being comboed in with this tome, right? But this tome is just, it is insane. So versus light, you don't really have many other options than to sort of do push block attacks as much as you possibly can, maybe put in some, uh, some light attacks in between, otherwise you're gonna run out of stamina. I think at the moment, uh, from the other video, I'm not uh, on the sort of talent I would normally have, which cut my costs in half right there. Normally, I would have these talents here, which means that I would actually run out of stamina really, really quickly, as you can see here. I have three push block attacks, so really what you want to do is you need to pair in some, uh, some light attacks in between. But preferably, what you want to do really is if you're in a situation versus uh, large hordes and such, then really you want to swap weapons, right? When you, when you have to. When you have to, you want to swap weapons. But you're still going to be initiating with this because remember the explosion effect is still an aoe explosion right so you can sort of get going simply by doing the light attack heavy light heavy light and then whenever you need to you can sort of go in for a sweep right like this and then you can charge up this right so you can go as such push block attack heavy attack push block attack heavy attack push block attack heavy attack push block attack but really, if you're completely surrounded, this is not a viable option, and you want to swap weapons. But this weapon, I think, is so interesting. Like, it has so much potential. And I really like this mechanic here, right? And the fact that you can... you can. <laughs> I also love this, that you can, like, read your ultimate. Like, I don't know. It's just... I think that's really, really cool. And that the different, uh, the different talents give you sort of different, uh, different pages. I don't know. I really like the new hero. He's just a buttload of fun. And, uh, and yeah. Woo, woo. So yeah, that's pretty much how you want to use all of the new weapons. Anyways, that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please like a comment and a subscribe for more Vermin Type and New World videos. And as always, I love you guys. Stay awesome. Pizza. For a shake, man. And a silver hammer. <laughs>